Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special tutorial on how to administer the Peabody Developmental Motor Skills 3rd Edition, also known as the PDMS-3. So this is a tool used for the assessment of motor development um, for young children from ages one month to five years. Whether you're a parent, an educator, a therapist, um, this is an awesome assessment that is able to give us some super specific insights onto a child's motor skills. Let's dive right in. Before we begin, it's important to note that the PDMS-3 should be administered only by trained professionals, such as physical therapists, occupational therapists, and licensed psychologists. This video is to be used for educational purposes only. This is not to substitute for any certifications or trainings. The PDMS-3 consists of six subtests, each evaluating different motor skills. One of the subtests, if you're familiar with the PDMS-2, is actually new, the PDMS-3. So the six subtests include body control, body transport, object control, physical fitness, hand manipulation, and eye-hand coordination. Before starting the assessment, ensure that you have the PDMS-3 manual and the necessary testing items, like toys or objects for the child to interact with. Here you'll see I have the Peabody box. Inside the box, the manual um, is included as well as the different materials needed for the assessment. Here's my manual. Also with the assessment comes a motor activities program. This is a more in-depth review of each item that goes into the instructional objective of the item, reasons for teaching it, critical elements, and instructional strategies. This is very important to have for your first time administering the Peabody. The assessment is performed through play-based activities that engage a child's motor skills. Let the child lead the activities so you can observe the movements more closely. I would advise administering an evaluation with two separate therapists in order to get a in-depth observation and assessment of the child's play skills. It's important that you build a rapport with the child for crucial and accurate assessment. Create a warm and friendly environment in order to help the child feel comfortable. This environment should be closed with very little to no distractions. I have the subtest written down in my little notebook, so pardon me that I'm looking down. Um, so the six different subtests include body control, which is summarized by the ability to move limbs or trunk. So some items you'll see there are standing, which should be displayed by 13 to 14 months, reaching, which skill usually develops by 15 to 16 months, jumping, which is 27 to 28 months, and single leg standing and bending down, which is 68 to 71 months. Body control is the ability to move limbs and trunk within the center of gravity in equilibrium. The second subtest is body transport, which is summarized by the ability to move from location to location. So I just kind of explain this as maneuvering your body through spaces and over surfaces. So weight bearing should be present by three months, Creeping on hands and knees is typically developed by 10 months and cruising by 12 months. More advanced developments of motor skills include galloping, which is present by 57 to 60 months, and skipping, which is 65 to 67 months. The third subtest is object control, which is summarized by the ability to coordinate movement or coordination of play materials. So throwing a ball should be present by 16 months, Kicking a ball develops by 19 to 20 months, and hitting a target overhead, 61 to 64 months. So you'll notice throughout the Peabody that these different items um, and these different skills are repeated from time to time, just there are small changes made to each item. The fourth subtest, physical fitness, is summarized by the ability to perform activities. An example of an item in this subtest are sit-ups, which are present by 65 to 67 months. The fifth subtest is hand manipulation. Shout out to OTs. This is typically in our fine motor composite. Um, and this is summarized by the ability to move hands and fingers to complete tasks. Um, so some things that should be present here are grasping a cue by six months with your fifth, fourth, and palm, your fifth digit, fourth digit, and palm grasping two cubes from 13 to 14 months, um, imitating horizontal scribbles, 25 to 26 months, and horizontal strokes, 31 to 32, 
31 to 32 months. Another skill in the subtest that should be developing is unbuttoning buttons, which should be present by 49 to 50 months. And the last subtest, eye-hand coordination, which is summarized by the ability to interpret visual stimuli in coordination with hands. Some examples of items in this subtest are clapping hands, which is developed by 10 months, inserting shapes into a block, a wooden block, 19 to 20 months, building a tower, 19 to 20 months, building a train, 33 to 34 months, and cutting paper, which should be present by 47 to 48 months. All of these can be found in the PDMS Guide to Item Administration. I recommend reading over each item in the Guide to Administration. This is really the meat and the potatoes of the assessment, and the more you're prepared as a clinician, um, the better results you'll get and the ease of implementing this assessment. After completing the assessment, you'll find raw scores for each subtest. Refer to the PDMS-3 manual in order to convert these scores into standard scores, scaled scores, and percentile ranks. There are tables within the examiner's manual in order to help you convert these scores. However, this can be done online quickly and efficiently. When presenting these results, it's important to use clear and concise language and to focus on the strengths and areas that need further attention. Remember, proper training and certification are vital to ensure accurate and reliable assessments. If you enjoyed this video, guys, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe to my channel. I hope to make more videos soon. Thank you so much.